Oh, good morning from Corfe Castle on a very cold, grey and windy morning. Now I'm on West Hill and this is the viewpoint for shooting the castle at sunrise but unfortunately this morning there has been no sunrise. Kind of anticipated it you know I saw the weather forecast but I wanted if nothing else to come and scout the location because I've never been here uh, so it's a good opportunity to come around and scout the location and check out some of the best places to take shots from. So it's always very important to do that in photography. And when you've got a grey morning like this, uh, you've got plenty of time to do it. You're not scrambling around trying to find a position and uh, in anticipation of the light. So from here on a West Hill, it looks southeast, obviously, south and southeast. And so this is the sunrise location, typically. And you, here on this ridge, there's a nice little walkway up here and there are several viewing points really. This one is quite low and but you can continue further up the hill here to get an elevated view looking down. Now I came up here to look at both. I went right up to the top. Now from the top you get a view down onto the castle but you get East Hill over there behind the castle. So on a morning like this where it was very grey then there's no real separation between the two and the castle blends into the hill. And of course, because it's gray and cloudy, there was no light coming up to light the castle or anything like that. And apparently it's also very good. And I imagine also when it's misty, the elevated view works really well. Because it was gray, I came down to the lower view. And in this case, from the lower view, you put the castle and this, you've got the sky behind the castle to at least provide some separation. So here you can see from here, this is where you get the view across. It's really nice, you know, you get this uh, lovely tree down here in the foreground and all these green fields and the hill itself. So you've got a nice wider composition you can choose to get the castle, the east hill and all of this in. And then uh, you can zoom in close and frame up just the castle itself and the hill and the, the, the church in Corf village too. Include that in the composition and as I've done here to add a little bit of colour to this otherwise grey morning, that little slither of the yellow rapeseed hill. Managed to get that in the composition. That's why I actually came here and chose this particular position to stand in. And I definitely think that with the right light and the right conditions, this is going to be a great shot. And maybe I'll get it tomorrow uh, with a bit of luck. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So this is the trail up and here is the view of the castle from here. There's a nice perspective. There's a nice little tree down there with some nice fields and the, the, the pathway makes an interesting composition too, as you just saw in my picture. Getting here is really easy, actually. 
there's a right down by the road there when you turn in there's a free car park and if you go back down to the road and walk down a little bit there's a gate further down there and you can see that little bit where you walk across the path straight the way up and up here and you walk up this path and so as I say there's two viewpoints this viewpoint I think when there's no mist and this is probably the best viewpoint here because then you get the castle against the sky behind otherwise if it's misty and you could go then further up the hill here right up to the top of the hill here where you get a more uh, elevated view looking down onto the castle but then you're looking down onto the castle and the village with East Hill right behind it so it can look a bit messy I think certainly when I went up there this morning uh, the whole composition looks a bit messy the, the let's just say the hill is behind the castle so there's no real contrast everything kind of blends in so definitely from what I can see you would need mist to provide some separation there to get that elevated view Let me show you through the viewfinder the kind of view you get. Now, it's not the best conditions, of course, um, but you get you get the general idea. So, uh, I mean, you can pull back also and get a nice wider view. It's a nice little trail down here, a nice little tree down here. So, I, I got one. Uh, composition you can get a nice composition like this with the tree and the green fields and everything in the foreground and the castle up here which is working quite well now because there's no real interest in the sky it's just pretty gray and very boring um, so this is kind of nice so I got one reasonably good shot I'll stick that up there now Uh, otherwise what you can do is then come in closer from here to the castle itself there we go um, now I, I like this viewpoint of the castle because I came down here and I chose this viewpoint because you get a hint you get that little bit of rapeseed filled right there to the left of the castle and add a little bit of color in this otherwise gray landscape now i was hoping for some interesting clouds above it but that didn't pan out but anyway i got one or two good shots but the idea really is oh, to come in close like this and now if you frame this up nicely you've got the castle with the sky behind it so then that helps to, to provide separation between the castle and what's behind it so that's some gives, gives you some contrast there whereas up there you would have no contrast looking down the hill that east hill would be right behind it so uh, that works really really well and I got the church from Corfe village also in the shot from here so it's this is a really really nice perspective and and as I say uh, the whole point about coming here really I knew the weather wouldn't be so great but I thought I'd come here anyway and at least scout it see how it looks in the morning and where the best places to shoot from so this is a great viewpoint and it would work really really well on a good morning so I might try and come back tomorrow uh, with a bit of luck tomorrow morning if the conditions might be better I might get a better sunrise now although this is touted as a sunrise location everyone will tell you this is the place to shoot the castle at sunrise I'm actually beginning to think that it would be a nice afternoon location too now we were here yesterday me and my mate and uh, we were up at the castle itself and the sun goes down over that way so as the sun goes down over that way it will cast nice side lighting 
over the castle here and as it gets lower that light will be nice and warm so I actually think that this would be good it would be good to shoot this also in a late afternoon or, or even at sunset itself so um, if conditions prevail I might give that a try now I mentioned in my last video how when I bought the R5 or when I went to mirrorless I was a little bit skeptical for a while about the electronic viewfinders and I also mentioned how I've been uh, amazed by the quality and the clarity of the electronic viewfinder or EVF on the R5. Now the other thing I've noticed today, just figured it out obviously, um, is that when you're selecting an aspect ratio here, now when you do that on the older DSLRs like the 5D Mark III that I had, and you can do it on the, the live view and you can you can select your aspect ratio which is quite useful when you're framing up uh, a composition and trying to get a shot in a particular aspect ratio it's pretty useful that you can do it here on the live view but you couldn't do it when you looked you didn't see it when you looked through the viewfinder you saw it on the live view but you didn't see it when you looked through the viewfinder with the EVF you see it uh, you see the aspect ratio so when you set an aspect ratio like a 16 by 9 or a 1 by 1 square and you look through the viewfinder that's what you see so that is a real plus in my book anyway nothing much is going to happen so uh, I'm going to come back either later this afternoon and also hopefully maybe tomorrow morning if the sunrise is better However, if I'm not able to get back here, if the weather doesn't play ball and I don't get back here in the afternoon or for sunrise, then I'll end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching as always. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out my other videos. Give this video a like if you found it useful. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.